Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. Today we're going to be doing a spring haul so I'm going to be sharing clothes, accessories, and makeup that have recently come into my room and I just want to share those things with you so without further ado let's just jump right on into this video. This first shirt is super wrinkly, but it's this super cropped little floral white shirt. It's from Forever 21, and I got it in a medium so that it wouldn't be super, super cropped. But if you wear it with high-waisted jeans, it turns out okay. So you're going to see it in the try-on portion now, but I love this shirt. I just wanted some cute little dainty girly shirts, so you're going to see a few of those in this haul but that is the first shirt that I got. This next shirt that I got is from H&M and it's one of those off the shoulder, whoops, it's backwards. <laughs> it's one of those off the shoulder tops, but it has the buttons down the front. Then it just has these sleeves here and they cinch at the end. And I just love these tops. I don't know if they're like in trend anymore. I know they used to be, but I really like them. So I have this top from H&M. I got it in a size medium again, just because I knew it was going to be cropped, so I wanted it to be a little bit longer, and because it's so stretchy, it cinches and it fits perfectly. The next thing that I got, and you've seen this in some videos, it's the Hannah Maloche hoodie. It's one of her merch hoodies. It has this little cassette tape on it, and it says, you're doing fine. I got this in a size small, and it is the coziest hoodie ever. I love this hoodie. It's my new favorite hoodie and Hannah Maloche is my favorite YouTuber so I am in love with this hoodie. I'm so glad I got it and yeah that's my Hannah Maloche merch. This next shirt I got while I was in LA. It's from Brandy Melville and it's this Los Angeles California little tee. It's in the same green that the other shirt from H&M is so I guess I just really like this green right now but there's no size because it's one size and it's just this cropped little tee. Perfect for every day. Just love this little guy. The next thing that I got is actually my first bodysuit and it's this black bodysuit. It just looks like a regular black t-shirt, but it has the clasps at the bottom, which everyone loves those clasps. It's in a small and I haven't worn it yet, but I'm definitely going to. I definitely like how it has the clasps at the bottom and I think it'll be a good type of everyday black t-shirt, but you can have it already tucked in your pants. So that works out great. The next shirt that I have to show you is also from Forever 21. It's a medium and it's this pink little lacy tank top. I really wanted a little girly tank top like this. So I really like this one. Sorry, it's wrinkly as well. But I just think this is really cute to be layered with and I just thought it would be good for summer and also winter because you could just layer it with a jean jacket and you'd be good to go. So that's what this little shirt is. And now I'm going to show you some dresses. This next dress is a maxi dress and it's from Target. It's from the brand Universal Thread. I got it in a medium and it just has these little straps here. Not spaghetti straps, but they kind of have a little bit of length to them I guess and it's just a maxi dress it's floral and then at the bottom it kind of flows out a little bit I just got rid of my only maxi dress because I feel like I've worn it in everything and everywhere so I wanted to get a new one and I got this for a wedding too so it worked out perfect but yeah that is my new little maxi dress that I got dresses are some of my favorite types of dresses and this one is from Forever 21 and it has these little flowers on it. I'm pretty sure it's the same flower that my other white shirt from Forever 21 has but this one's from Forever 21 as well. It's in a small and it does have an open back so normally I'll wear this with a jean jacket or I'll wear it with a pretty bralette or something like that but I just really love this cute little t-shirt baby doll dress. The last pair of clothing that I have to show you is actually some pants and I wanted to step out of my comfort zone because I literally wear jeans every day. So I got these black and white striped flowy pants and these are actually the comfiest things I've ever 
had as far as pants goes they have pockets too so that's super helpful and the waist is elastic so it stretches these are from H&M and they're a size 4 which is I'm assuming would be around a small or something like that but yeah these pants are awesome I love getting to style them I'll style them with this shirt sometimes so now you know my cool little pants that I got <laughs> As far as accessories go, I don't really have anything other than jewelry. So this first one is this little circle. It has a heart and an H on it, and it's from one of my friends named Alex. And she is moving to Texas this year, and I'm moving to Tennessee this year. So it's just kind of like a cute little, you know, goodbye present, even though we're not leaving yet. But it was really sad when she gave it to me, but I love it so much. I wear it like almost every day. So that is this first necklace that I have to show you. This second one is this little bar necklace and it's really hard to show, but it says worth on it. It's from the Summer McKean collection of necklaces and Summer McKean is also one of my favorite YouTubers along with Hannah. So I do really love this necklace. It's great for layering all of those things. I've been working with a lot of brands recently and one of them is the Gem and Company and you probably saw my pictures on Instagram if you follow me on there and I just did a collab with them. There's another brand that I did a collab with that I'm going to show in a second but I did a collab with them and this is the Dangled Duo by them. So this first necklace has like little gold beads on it and the bottom one has stars and moons on it. So this is super cute. I do have a discount code so you can check that out in the description box below but yeah, definitely check out this company and the other company that I'm going to show you as well. The other company that I've been working with is Roxbox. And if you know anything about Roxbox, they are a jewelry subscription company. So you actually get three pieces of jewelry. They're really nice quality, really nice brands. And you get to try them out for a couple of weeks and you get to decide if you want to buy them or not. And the money that you spend for the subscription box goes towards buying those pieces. So it's really a helpful brand, I think. And I'm going to show you the pieces that I got from them. So this first one is this beautiful, dainty little heart necklace. I don't know if you can see it very well, but this necklace is from Sophie Harper and it's just so beautiful. I do really love this. Then I also got these Kendra Scott earrings. They're the bars and they have like this crystal it's like a rose gold color and these are also beautiful and the last one are these super pretty pink little stones they're from ava rose and they're these dangly ones i do really love them and i do suggest if you do like to try out jewelry and you don't really know how to style jewelry and like what pieces to wear with it. I do suggest going with this brand, doing a subscription box for like a month or two. I do have a discount code for this brand, so I will link that down below as well. So any of these brands that I have discount codes, Roxbox did sponsor my Instagram post, but they're not necessarily sponsoring this video, but I just wanted to shout them out anyways because they are some jewelry that I received this month so I just wanted to show you that and I have one more piece of jewelry to share with you. The last piece of jewelry are these hoop earrings and I'm not gonna lie to you I got these from Walmart and I actually love them so that's <laughs> So the reason why I got so much makeup in the first place is because someone from my church who was a makeup artist wanted to get rid of it. So she gave so much to me and I gave a lot to people that I know, but I did keep some of it. So I'm going to show you what I kept. So most of the makeup that I got were palettes and the first one is this Huda Beauty Rose Gold Edition. It's not the remastered one or anything, I think it's the original. But this one is beautiful. It has a lot of glitters, all of that. The next one that I got is the Subculture Palette by Anastasia. Very controversial palette, but I'm excited to try it out. It's got some crazy colors, as you can see. And then my most exciting one is the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe. I did just use this in one of my tutorials, so you probably saw that. But this one super beautiful as well. The next one is this Olimar Cosmetics one. It's the volume one. Now she has a volume two. 
And this one is just this tropical one, super cool colors. Something that's super exciting is I got the Natasha Denona Tropic Palette. I never would have got this for myself, but I'm so excited to try it out. The eyeshadow formula is amazing. So that one is super good. And then I got the Violet Voss Palette, the Flamingo one. This one is super colorful as well. I use this in my look that I did recently. And the last eyeshadow thing that I got is this Melt Cosmetics little eyeshadow quad. So I have four little shadows. The first one is called Blur. It's just this regular brown one. The next one is called, it looks like that. It's called the Unseen. Then they have this red one, which is called Enigma. And then this last one is just a black. It's called Dark Matter. So that's all the eyeshadows that I got. And now we're going to get to the other makeup. As far as face palettes go, I got this Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow face palette. It looks like this. So it has a blush in the middle and then two highlighters. And I got this Anastasia Glow Kit. It's the Sun Dipped one. And I've been loving the shade Summer in the corner. It's the lightest one. Definitely love these two palettes right here. I got a lot of eyeliners and glitters, and that's because this lady was a makeup artist. So I'm going to show you some of those. The first one is this Pretty Vulgar Black Eyeliner. Then I got the Benefit Cabral, which is in the shade 4. Might be a little bit too dark for me, but I'm going to try it. Then I got this Stila Glitter. It's in the shade Metallic Peach. It's one of their Magnificent Metals. Then I got this glitter from Sugar Pill. It's called Penelope. It's like a copper. Then I got this liquid glitter from Urban Decay. It's their Vice Special Effects one. And this one is in the shade White Lie. I got this Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Periwinkle. It's this cool blue. And I got this Maybelline waterproof gel pencil and it's in the shade soft nude then i got this nyx jumbo eye pencil i think it's like a eyeshadow crayon type of thing it's in the shade cashmere and then i got this ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade piggy bank i got this l'oreal white eyeliner it's one of their infallible paints one and it's in the shade white party and then i got this benefit their real push-up liner it's just in the black shade i don't think it has a specific shade now on to powders i got the cody airspun powder which you saw in my tutorial recently definitely is good it does have a little bit of a scent to it so if you don't like that you're not gonna like it i got this ofra oil control press powder i've been enjoying this a lot since i've gotten it but it definitely makes me whiter than I actually am. I got this MAC powder in the shade medium, which is a loose powder. It might be a little bit too dark for me, but we'll see. Then I got this Besame powder in the shade translucent. It's a violet powder and I wanted to try a violet powder, so that's why I got this one. And lastly, I got a Too Faced Mill Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I already own this, but I just got a backup because that bronzer is one of my rider dyes, so I thought might as well. Then for blushes, I got this Too Faced Sweetheart blush. It's in the shade, I don't know, it's the, it's the pink and orangey looking one, so that's what I got there. I got a Tarte blush in the shade Party, another one of my rider dyes that I thought I should keep because I love the other Tarte blush that I have, the Party one. Then I got the Cover FX Glitter Drops. I can't find the shade on these, but they're like this gold color. Haven't used these yet, but we'll see if I like them. Lastly is lip stuff. So I have this Tarte. It's the Maruka Lip Exfoliant. So it's just a clear lip exfoliant. I got this Laura Mercier lip liner in the shade Red Chocolate. I got this Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick in the shade 714. I don't think there's an actual shade for it. I got this Lime Crime lipstick in the shade Red Velvet. I got this MAC lip pencil in the shade In Sync, And then this Maybelline lip pencil in the shade Rusty Terracotta. I got this MAC lip set. It's all of these liquid lipsticks. This first one is in the shade Gumdrop. The second one is in the shade Strawberry. And the last one in the shade Strawberry Mousse. I got this Kat Von D lipstick. It looks like that. It's in the shade... Adora. I got this Milani lipstick, which is in the shade Matte Love. It looks like 
that. It's a deep purple. And lastly are these MAC lipsticks. So this first one is like an orange shimmery metallic. It's in the shade Thrills. This one is a bright pink. It's in the shade Tisk Tisk. And this one is just like a glittery topper. And it's in the shade Tamara. T Tamarama, I think. I don't know exactly. Or it's Frost. There's two names, so I don't know. And then I got one other one, but I don't want to find it right now because this video is long enough. That's the end of this video. I know that I got a ton of makeup, but you should have seen the amount that I had that I got rid of. Like, it was a lot. So I'm excited to try all these products and test them out and see how I like them. That's the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do those for you. So I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye guys!